Hi, my amazing planner people. It's Jess from My Magical Planner, and today's video is going to be a little something different. So I really wanted to create a vision board this year. And for those of you who don't know, a vision board is a collage of images and words that people put together to represent your wishes or dreams, goals that's intended to motivate you along your path of getting you there to those specific things. So this year, I really wanted to do one. I've never done one before. And so I reached out to a couple of fellow planners and asked if they would do this challenge with me. And I'm so happy to tell you that they are. And so I have five different friends who are also doing this with me to give you inspiration for your own vision boards and goal setting for this year. We have Karen from Happily Planning with Karen. We have Jana from Jana K Creates. We have Holly from Plan With Me HB. We have Robin from Oh Hello Robin. And we have Shantae from Shantae Plans. And I've seen little sneaks of everybody's boards. And I, I think it's going to be incredibly inspirational for all of you. Because vision boards can be anything. Anything that will inspire you. And I really wanted something I could put in my planner to help me find the goals I wanted this year because finding goals is really challenging for me. So I don't have a lot of magazines around with, you know, pictures and stuff. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do it using Pinterest and I'll just grab shots and print them and kind of make a collage in my, my planner. But that didn't end up turning out so well. So what I ended up actually doing is going on to Canva. And if you don't know about Canva, Canva is kind of this online platform. They have a free um, version as well as a paid version. And they can help with templates and they have photos and graphics and all kind of things. They're the place I usually use for like my thumbnails or Instagram and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and link them down below. Not affiliated with them in any way, <laughs> just really um, use them a lot. So what I did is I went into Canva and I typed in vision board. And so it came up with this template and I love this template. I, I think it turned out amazingly. I haven't found the correct sizing to fit it into my planner yet, but I will. But I wanted to show this to you in a bigger format so that it was easier to see. So this is my general vision board for this year. And I just went through and I picked different images to depict different parts of my life than the direction I wanted them to go. I'll start up here in the corner. So this is just a picture of, you know, a desk and a microphone, a pair of headsets, and a computer. It looks more professional and more put together, and that's kind of the direction I would like my YouTube channels to go. And then above it, I have a person putting money in a piggy bank. I have been <laughs> horrible at saving and using my money wisely, and that's something I would like to change in this coming year. Below that, we have a picture of most likely a Canon camera here. I, I don't know for sure, but I am a Canon girl. I picked this camera because I used to really enjoy my photography, and then I got really sick, and with being really tired, it was hard to find enjoyment in it. I want to get back into that now that my health is more steady and everything and I kind of found I missed it and I want to get back to taking pictures of my kids. And then over here I have a picture of probably a small family looking out over the Golden Gate Bridge. This just kind of represents the fact that in the coming years I want to do more traveling with my family. COVID aside, like traveling has been hard with different schedules. I just haven't made it a priority and I would like to make it a priority. So I have that and then I also have, this is Disneyland Paris and it is one of the things that is definitely on my bucket list of things to do in the coming years. I would love to go and visit all of the Disney parks across the world. And then next to that, I have the word be happy because that's kind of the mood I, I want to take with this year. I've spent so much time focusing over the last year on the things that I can't do because of my health and everything that I want to switch that perspective and look for the things that I can do, which will add to this atmosphere of happiness. 
Down here, I have a set of rocks very nicely balanced on top of each other. And then you also have the aspect of it perfectly balancing with the reflection. This is just a representation of that balance between YouTube, Instagram, my family, money, you know, all the different aspects and finding a balance there. Below that, you have a person probably doing yoga. Um, this is my spirituality aspect. I have gone a little bit away from the church that I'd been going to, but that doesn't mean I don't believe in a lot of things from that church. So I would like to explore that a little bit more this year and really find my own way. And maybe it's different than where I've been. I don't know, but I definitely want to explore that and take more time to appreciate that. And then over here we have what I would say would be a standard health board. <laughs> um, so it has like a nice salad. You probably have a bottle of water here. You have something to track. You have an apple for nice fruit. You have a tape measure and weights. So my goal this year with health is simply to support my body and being and like feeling well and having energy. I would like to lose some weight as well because that should help me along that journey. But that's kind of where this is going. And then above it, I have just a really beautiful kitchen because one of the things I noticed that I've kind of done with my house, I've lived here, oh gosh, 18 years, 19 years, something like that. And I haven't put up things on the wall and actually decorated my house. I haven't made it a home. And so... This year, I want to take the time out from doing all of the other things to actually make my house a home, like a place that I love and appreciate being all the time and a sanctuary from the world. So that's what that's about. So this general idea, I would love to actually get printed on vellum and put in here. I'm going to look and see if staples or Office Max or something like that can do that for me and give me a punch that I could then um, put in here, but I'm not sure if that's possible. If not, I'm going to be posting these behind me. I have a, um, a, like a bulletin board that I'd love to put them on. Before we get into any of these specific vision boards, because I've made some for um, a couple of these different areas, I want to show you the word of the year that I chose. What I ended up doing is I took, so this is my goals tab in my Harriet Wright Designs. The, the sheets are clear. So I just took this first page here and I put my word of the year script up here. Um, I used a... Happy Planner sticker that says make your own magic. This is also Happy Planner here. And then I, my word of the word year is intentional and I put the definition of it below it. And then I added Mickey and Minnie down here and the 2022. And I just kind of framed it out with this washi from Simply Gilded. I really love the way it came together and I think it's amazing. So going with the word intentional, what I did is I put together some vision boards where I used the word either intention or intentional in some I statements. So here's my first one. This one is for my social media and where I want it to go and how I want to see that manifest this year. So what I did is I went through and I picked some images that I felt went with the statements that I wanted to use. So in the middle here, I have, you know, a phone, a computer, and a person doing some planning there, because that's kind of the center of everything. And then I'm going to go up here first. I have a screen that says mental health, and I have a hand that's reaching out. And my statement here says, I will be intentional in my sharing of mental health to bring attention and help others. Mental health is such a huge part of my family with so many of them ha getting different diagnoses this year and my own anxiety issues as well as a little bit of depression um, and figuring out how to manage that and the fact that my planner is my key thing that I use to keep things under control. So... 
there's that. And then down here, I have, you know, this kind of girl here. She has all these words around her head, like connection, web, um, chat. We ha just have all kinds of ideas kind of spinning around her. And then over here, I did screen grabs of different companies' logos. Like people I would really appreciate working with or I really appreciate their aesthetic, that kind of thing. And I just put them in this box. Not everybody is in this box. It was a space thing. But these were the top like paper trail plans. I, I think I should add them to this because I really... I really love their stickers. The people I did put in here, I have Harriet Wright Designs, I have Crafts by Towie, Two Little Bees, Letters to Apollo, Sadie Stickers, and Sticker Guru. The only one of those that I currently work with is Sticker Guru, which I love. And my I statement for these two is, I will intentionally seek out brands I love, which means I'm not gonna just buy things to buy things um, a little bit. I'm gonna actually pay attention to the products that I love. Um, a lot of this last year has been buying things that were on sale and experimenting with different brands and that kind of thing. And I kind of want to focus down a little bit. And then over here, I have like the YouTube silver plaque and I have a girl holding a heart sign with 341 hearts. This one's kind of to end to symbolize uh, Instagram. And it says, I will put intentional thought into my content. And that is the way I see myself moving forward and growing is by being more intentional in what I'm putting out. So that is my kind of career, we'll say, board since I'm a stay at home mom. And that will help me put together goals that are actionable for this year. Then I have one for health. So this one, I kind of went through and found a bunch of images. Like I put this one with health and it has all of these little offshoots of things that kind of lead to health, like habits and fitness. Um, I think one of them down here was eating and just kind of all the things that really play into your health at the center. And then over here, I have a person with a heart over their stomach, meaning I, I want to find like a happy medium with my digestive issues and figure out how to make things better and not so life disrupting. And then over here, I have a person just kind of up against the blackboard. There's all these little squiggly marks and then the word stress spilled out on the board there. I know that stress is a key factor in a lot of my health issues. It causes your blood pressure to go up. It can cause stomach issues, um, headaches, all kinds of things are actually the real salt of stress, which I do not handle well. And so one of my intentions for this year is I will pay attention to my stress level and find ways to lessen it. This is gonna be exceptionally challenging for me, I'll admit that, because I have no idea how to make my stress level go down, other than going to Disney, that works really well. <laughs> and then over here, I have a woman eating and she's actually smiling, um, as well as this looks like probably a smoothie. And then on the napkin, it says eating well is a form of self-respect. I had never thought of that and I really, really like that. So. In my intention box here, I put, I will find ways to eat well that don't make me sick and give me joy. So that's kind of self-explanatory there, I think. And then over here, I have a person maybe taking a walk or something, and we have a person sleeping. Sleep and movement play such a huge role in your overall health, not only like physical health, but your mental health. And those are two things that I have not in the past paid very good attention to. So my intention statement here is I will pay attention to what my body needs for me, which means when I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. And when I need to go for a walk, I'm actually going to go for a walk and I'm going to make time for those things and make them a priority. So that's health. And then I have a family board. <laughs> so this board is directly related to everything in my immediate family, meaning my kids and my husband. So in the middle, I have a picture of 
a bunch of different age groups kind of holding on to each other's wrist to make this center element. This is incredibly strong. And that's the way I want my family to be. I mean, we're already pretty strong, but you know, you always want to make it stronger. So below that, I have a person with a stack of books on their head. And I also have all of the hands in around this block letter of support, because I really want to learn more about the challenges my kids are going through. Um, I don't know a whole lot about autism, which is a recent diagnosis. I am learning about ADHD and how that affects them and ways that we can help them along the way, but I definitely have a long way to go. So here I have, I will be intentional in supporting my children as they learn to be adults. So that means, you know, supporting them and helping them find ways of dealing with life. Um, it means helping them to learn the things that they need to know to be a functional adult, how to do a load of laundry, how to mop a floor, you know, clean windows, chores that all kids need to know how to handle before they leave the house. So over here, I have a picture of a mom and daughter kind of working together to make dinner. And then above it, I have a picture of a large family around a very healthy meal at the dinner table, kind of all reaching into the middle. I think they're probably cheersing or something. I just like the idea of everybody pitching in. So here I have a box that says, I will be intentional in including my kids in the cooking process. So this isn't just that they need to learn how to cook. They need to learn how to adapt recipes. They need to learn how to find the ingredients at the grocery store. They need to learn the timing of cooking so you don't have one dish cut ready and the other things taking five million more years, you know, so the first dish gets cold and all of that. And besides that, as a family, we need to be eating healthier. Over the last year with me being so sick, easy has become the mantra. So like frozen pizzas, chicken nuggets, those kind of things have been survival mode. And I would like to help us get out of that. So over here, I have a picture of a family on top of a car with their arms up, kind of celebrating and going someplace. And then we have like a family going on a walk in the evening. And it says, I will be intentional and plan family trips. So because of all of the different priorities and everything that my family has, I have not planned as many trips. For the most part, my kids have been to Disney World and they've been to Maine every year <laughs> because we have a family cabin up there that we go to. So they need to see the rest of the world. Like they've never been, like we live in Michigan. They've never been to Lake Michigan because it was so intense raising them and they're all older now. Like my youngest is nine. So it's a very different dynamic, but mentally I was stuck in the other. So like we don't go to the zoo because it was too stressful for me to take all four of them on my own. We don't really go anywhere and I need to change that. That's in my intentions for this year. Okay, almost done guys. Last one. So this is the one I made for like budgeting or finances. So I have kind of a bunch of pennies over here in a jar kind of spilling out. I have a a form of a budget up here with all the different graphs and everything. And I have a visual of the budget. You know, you have quarters stacked up with various different icons on top of them. And over here I have, oops, there, there's a hair of mine. <laughs> I have, I will pay attention to what I spend. So this is more of a uh, I don't usually pay attention, you know, I know generally how much things are in and out and that kind of thing, but I don't know the nitty gritty. So I need to, even if it's just logging it, I need to pay attention to that and find an equal footing with my husband on that. And then over here, I have another person kind of writing everything down. And then I have this person taking probably some money out of her wallet. And it says, I will be intentional with my spending. 
which just means I want to think about what I'm buying before I buy it. Do I need more stickers? No. Am I going to buy more stickers this year? Probably. But I want to buy stickers that have an intentional purpose. So I'm not just buying X sticker pack because I really love it. Yeah, I should really love it, but I need to have an exact purpose for that. And then down here, I have a girl planning over here. And then I also have a brain with like a little thought bubble on top of it on top of some mask. And it says, I will pay attention to why I am buying things and make sure it's not because I'm lonely or sad. I'm an emotional buyer, guys. So when things are bad, which they have been a bad a lot this last year, I buy things and mostly stickers. <laughs> Honestly, it's just what I do. And I want to get out of that habit and I want to do better this year. And so just being aware of why I'm buying things is a huge step, I think. So those are my actual vision boards. What I wanted to do was take those images there and put them into actually worded out goals and everything. So I've kind of broken things down here with my little tabs. So this one says me, this one says marriage, friends, family, home, travel slash fun, education, finances, health, spiritual, and then we have YouTube and Instagram down here. So I'm going to take a minute and just kind of put some decoration around the edges of this.
All right, guys, I've kind of gone through and I've very lightly, here, I'll bring it up to the camera so you guys can see, made lines in each of these boxes for me to write on so that I don't try and write at an angle, <laughs> which I oftentimes do. So I did that by using, I have this Archer in olive, I think it's called a ruler stencil and it just has these nice lines on here. For the most part, I used this set here. Um, there are a couple boxes like this one and this one where I use the longer lines, but essentially I just skipped every other because I wanted to give myself space. So I went ahead and decorated this last night. You know, I have the washi at the top and the bottom that kind of coordinates with the page before. Um, I did use this 2022 vision board and a lot of the scripts you see in here are all from the same sticker package, which was done by Paper Trail Plans. She made a very specific collaboration with Shantae Plans and put it out there and Shantae shared it with us. So we were able to purchase that. So. I'm going to take you in a little bit more detail about the things I wrote here and I am contemplating, I haven't done it yet, of writing along the edges some actionable goals that I could mark off. I just haven't decided if I like the way that's going to look. For my marriage box, this is really simple. It says make time for each other, support each other's hobbies. So my hobby is, of course, planning. His is building a fiber network. <laughs> because he does nothing in small. Being supportive of each other doesn't mean the same thing, right? So him being supportive of me is maybe showing interest in some of my designs or creative outlets that I use. And for him, it's taking time for him to explain to me about the different aspects. I also have in here make date night a priority. With COVID, it has become increasingly hard to figure out how to go on dates. I admit my anxiety plays a big role in that because there's a lot of places I'm just not comfortable going yet. And it's cold in Michigan in the winter. <laughs> That's kind of where my marriage goal area is. And then over here, I have a family area. I did use a Miss and Meow kind of Polaroid box here and then the family scripts that I got from Paper Trail Plans. And my top one here is teach the skills to my kids that they need to be functional adults and support the kids as they need. We will eat healthier this year. Those are kind of my family goals. Over here, I have a space for education. This is a sticker from Crafts by Towie. And then I just wrote in education there. So. Over here, I put take a class on Adobe photo editing and video editing. I kind of lump them together. Below that, I put four classes on Skillshare. I figured I could do one per like quarter or something, and that wouldn't be overstretching myself. I want to learn more about the YouTube algorithm and same for Instagram. And then next to that, I have spiritual the big things here are take Sunday to rest and reset and read or watch a spiritual message each week and take notes. I tend to do better with those type of things if I just writing down things that come to me as I'm listening to that particular talk. And then I just I feel like I get a better idea out of the message and it becomes more personal for me. Over here we have health. I take a lot of medications right now. I have, I think, nine oral medications. I have three topical creams. I have a special wash. Like, I'm on a lot of medications right now. And I'd at least like to get the oral medications from nine medications down to five, which is probably going to be a bit of a challenge. But that would be nice um, for the like end of year goal. So I know I may not get there, but I'm going to try. I want to walk five days a week um, with the end result being I want to be able to register for a 5k at Disney by the end of the year and be able to walk a virtual 5k. And then I did want to add in a weight loss goal. I didn't want to make it too focused on weight loss. So I did make it on the smaller side. I said lose 15 pounds by the end of the year, which I think is doable. 
And then I have a box here for just for me. It says I will put myself on the page, which is kind of hard for me. Uh, it's that whole everybody else comes first. The first time I ever heard on an airplane whole, you should put your mask on first before you help anybody else. I, I literally thought it was the most selfish thing. And as I've grown, I am starting to understand the need to have more in your own cup before you can help others. So I want to make that a priority this year. I don't want to be selfish, but I do want to make sure that my needs are being met, which is, it's a hard balance. So um, I also have, I will find joy in the little things, meaning I want to find joy in life. Cause so much of the last year has been pain, especially associated with food. So I want to find things that I enjoy eating. I want to go places that I enjoy going because I feel like I lost a year and a half of my life to an illness that the doctors can't even explain. Then on this side, I have home. So I have make my house a home, clean up my yard. <laughs> So because I have been so sick for so long, a lot of weeding needs to take place and just some general things. Plus there are remnants of my husband's hobby <laughs> around the yard that just need to have a place to go. So put up wall decor and clean basement and other clutter. Those are my big to do's. Uh, the less you have in your house, the less you have to do it cleaning wise. So that may be around this. <laughs> But mostly it's all the un unnecessary things that we're not using. I want to pass on to like a donation place or somebody who can use them opposed to storing them because I would rather have the space than to store things is where I'm at in my life at this point. Over here I have YouTube. I, I did struggle a little bit with what I wanted to put here. I did say reach 1k. I think I'm around 650 right now. So I feel like that's obtainable. Make a balance between my two channels. I would like to be able to post on both channels. Right now I'm really only posting here. And I think I'm going to come up with a third point. I just haven't yet. Below here I have friendships. So friendship is challenging for me. I with my anxiety issues, I tend not to talk to people, um, especially in person. Online is different, but in person, it's very hard for me to just walk up to someone and say hi. Um, I feel like I'm bothering them. So I, because of that, I think I hold on to friendships maybe sometimes too long, um, especially once I realize those friendships are maybe not the best for me. I have on here be able to let go of old friends because um, sometimes you're friends with somebody for a season and after that season it's okay to let them go and move on. You don't have to hate them but maybe you don't need to see them as much or you're just not as close. So that's kind of what that's about. And then my other goal, which is going to sound a little pathetic, <laughs> is to make two new friends this year. It's really hard putting my anxiety stuff on the side to make friends as a stay-at-home mom because you don't really see a whole lot of people. And COVID has made that even worse. So without intentional effort, I don't think I could make a friend. So I'm going to put some intention there. Next to it, I have finances. I have as my goals, I, I am an equal part of finances. So my husband has handled the finances pretty much solely up till now. And I want to do a better job of being there and being part of it, even if I find it overwhelming. <laughs> I have some credit card debt, I won't lie. Um, I'd like to get half of that gone this year by being more intentional with my spending. And then down here I have my Instagram. I really loved the, doing this box, by the way. So this is another of those Polaroids from Miss and Meow. And then I just layered in some flowers by Crafts by Towie. And 
my goals for Instagram are instead of just snapping a picture with my iPhone, I would like to use my, one of my big cameras because I have a couple and they take much better pictures than my iPhone does. Don't get me wrong, my iPhone does amazing pictures, but an actual camera can do better. Post images I can be proud of. That kind of goes with the other. I want to be using actual editing software instead of just like snapping the picture and immediately posting it. <laughs> I would like to reach 1k subs, which is a huge leap for my Instagram because I think I'm only <laughs> at maybe 200, something like that. So I haven't been very good about posting on there. And so consistency, I think will help with that. And then my last box over here is travel. And I just put down here at least during the summer, I would like to take my kids on monthly trips to, it doesn't have to be anywhere huge. You know, we're two and a half hours from Lake Michigan going there and having a day at the beach is totally doable. I'd like to take them up to see Mackinac Island. I'd like to take them to the zoo, just small day trips, but I think that we need to be doing them more often. And then I want to plan a family trip that is not to either Maine or Disney, someplace out of state. I don't know where, but I think that would be good for everybody. Maybe even a road trip. That is kind of my vision board and my goals for this year. I hope this helps you to find your own way and making your own goals. I know it's a little late, but I usually don't actually end up getting my goals on paper until into the month of January. Please don't forget to go check out all of the other channels involved in this collaboration. As a reminder, they're Karen from Happily Planning with Karen, Jenna from Janet, Jenna K Creates, Holly from Plan With Me HB, Robin from Oh Hello Robin, and Shantae from Shantae Plans. And I'm going to go ahead and I have links to all of them down below. And I hope you guys really enjoy this collaboration. I know I'm going to really enjoy watching everybody's videos. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon.